Hi and welcome to Little Bits Honey Bees. I'm Skinny Bee Man. I get about 10, 15 emails and phone calls a day this time of year. People want to know why my queens quit laying. She, I can see her in the hive, but she's not laying. Well, this is the 1st of August. Been hot and dry. There's a dearth on. If you're not feeding your bees, the first thing they shut down is brew production. This open feeder here. If there was a honey flow on, they wouldn't be 15, 20 bees on this thing. And they're just everywhere. Fighting over it. But that's, that's one reason. I'm going to get the bipod and go down there and sit in the chair and we're going to talk about the rest of them. Yeah, I was saying that dearth can cause a queen to quit laying. I mean, they just, that's their first uh, defense mm -hmm. for survival. Um, you, say, you say, well, I've been feeding my bees and they're still not laying. Well, if there's a dearth on, they might not be bringing any pollen. They may be pollen shy. Uh, they need 13 amino acids out of the pollen before they'll make brood. And no one pollen has all 13 amino acids. So, uh, this time of year when I, I got a dearth on, I feed small pieces of pollen patty on top of the frame, something that they'll eat in a couple of days. If uh, you put too much out there, it'll draw small hive beetles and cause another problem. Or you can do the dry pollen out in a, a feeder in the yard, give them something. Uh, the second biggest, this time of year, the second biggest reason for queen not to stop laying is mites. The mite load is it. Is it the heaviest towards the end of July, end of August? Uh, if they've got a heavy mite load, queen quits laying. Uh, small hive beetles. If there are a lot of small hive beetles in there, in your hives, that will cause the queen to quit laying. Wax moths will too. Uh, it could be honey bound. In, in your bottom brood chambers, or if you've got running too deep brood chambers, uh, you may have so much honey in that bottom that the queen doesn't have a place to lay. Pull a couple frames of that honey out, put you a couple frames of drawed worker comb or starter strip right in the middle of the brood chamber and they'll draw it out and if that's the problem they'll go back to laying. Robin is probably the third biggest reason this time of year. When you get a dearth on the bees go to Robin. You say why? Well, I've only got one hive, but you've got wild bees and you've got other people around you that's got bees and they'll ro out of strong hives they'll rob. When they start robbing, first thing to do, they huddle up around the queen and she, they protect her so the bees don't kill her, they quit laying. Uh, say you're, this is not your first year on the box, you've got boxes that's a, a year or two old. Uh, old wax, if your wax is in there black. The, uh, every time they go through a brood cycle on the, on brood comb, the cells get smaller, and it eventually gets small enough that a queen can't lay eggs in them. So, if that's the case, pull some of that old comb out of there, give them some uh, fresh drawed comb or starter strips right in the middle of the brood, and they should go back to land. Uh, maybe you've made a split and your queen's not laying in there. Low population. She won't hardly lay anything unless she, she won't lay any more eggs than she's got bees to take care of and cover them. Uh, so, you know, give them a frame of, of cat brood in there, just hatching, go in a hive and look at ones where they're hatching, their heads are popping out, shake most of the bees off of it and get and boost the population, see if that'll get her. Nine times out of ten, if a queen quits laying and she's still in the box, there's nothing wrong with the queen. If there was something wrong with the queen, she wasn't doing her job. The bees would kill her, supersede her, and make another bee. So the chances are she's just fine. There's other circumstances causing it. Not always, but like I say, nine times out of ten. And it's not all the reasons a queen quit laying, but 
this is the biggest majority it covers. I hope it helps somebody to figure out their problem because as you're coming into the time of year you need to be making brood. This is your winter bees coming up this next month. And you need to get your population built up and uh, a couple things. If you, if you haven't treated for varroa mites, I'd be treating some way or another because the, the varroa mite load is really high right now. It should be. And hope you enjoy the videos. If you do, subscribe to the channel. Uh, Skinny Bee Man here. We'll catch you next time.